U.S. Census data came out and said that nearly 260,000 people left the state of North Carolina for several justifiable reasons in just one year, which ranks ninth most of any state. Be sure to stick around to hear what those reasons are and why Michigan is a part of the discussion. Although North Carolina ranks the 17th state in overall rankings, according to U.S. News & World Report, there are still people leaving in droves for reasons that may shock you. Now, that doesn't mean there's more people leaving than coming in, but let's just say a lot of them are calling Michigan home. I had several clients and inquiries of people wanting to move to Michigan from North Carolina, and I figured I'd put together all the reasons they want out of North Carolina and want to welcome themselves to Michigan. One of the biggest reasons people are leaving North Carolina outside of work opportunities and family is affordability and the cost of living. According to recent data provided by Zillow, North Carolinans are paying an average of $329,225 for a home, whereas in the Mitten State, it's nearly $100,000 less, coming in at $239,770. So it's safe to say you can stretch your dollar quite a bit further in Michigan compared to North Carolina. In a world where everything is so over really expensive, this price difference makes a difference. The caveat I'll throw in here is Michigan property taxes are higher, North Carolina's income tax is a little higher, so there's some cost trade-offs to consider, and that's where it's crucial to understand these points moving from state to state and how it affects your bottom line. As far as the cost of living in general, the resource My Life Elsewhere retrieves data from the CIA Factbook, as well as user-contributed data to have the most updated comparisons living in one area over the next, and it shows Michigan is 2.9% cheaper overall to live in compared to North Carolina, and that factors in restaurants, groceries, transportation, housing, childcare, entertainment, and sports, as well as clothing. I don't know about you, but a 2.9% increase in savings sounds pretty nice. The next reason people are leaving North Carolina for places like Michigan, and that's the bugs and animals. After talking more with people from North Carolina, I had no idea how big of a problem this was. Granted, in Michigan, we have our seasons for bad mosquitoes, but they're out here making it sound like I'll be carried away by fire ants and choked out by a copperhead snake on a Tuesday afternoon. No thank you, R respectfully. I've I've seen three or four snakes in Michigan over the duration of my lifetime, and I'm good for not seeing any more, especially when there's an area or two in North Carolina that has the highest population of snakes. I'd just be tiptoeing those streets out there. All jokes aside, everywhere has bugs of course, but for this to be one of the most common complaints about the area says something. The next reason people are flocking to Michigan from North Carolina, and that's for the culture. I've heard over the years helping clients move out of North Carolina and talking to several people who live there, and that there's this changing culture that a lot of people are not agreeing with and can't accept. So much so, they are changing states over it. And I get it, culture changes happen, especially as new generations replace old ones in a community. It's it's bound to happen and is out of anyone's control, really. But with that being said, Michigan is on their radar for this reason. Of course, it depends on where you go, but as far as Metro Detroit, there's just something about Motown and the automotive industry that has shaped the area for generations to come. We lean so hard on our history over here and it's paved the way for the culture we have today. And I believe that point alone can be heavily respected by residents of other states because there's truly nothing like it and words can't very much describe it. And I know there's areas like Charlotte that have a lot of history within it, but at the end of the day, we're factoring in the cost of living too. The next reason people are moving to Michigan from North Carolina, and that's the seasonality and weather. If you're someone who wants to make the most of the four seasons, I've heard North Carolina is not the right state for you. And of course, that depends on where you are geographically in the state. People have told me summers are scorching, averaging temperatures in the 90s. There's not a clear separation in seasons because the only thing that changes is the temperature gauge. Imagine experiencing 30 degree weather without the snow, unless you are in the western side of the state in the hills from what I hear. In Michigan, we have the 50 shades of orange during the fall, the blooming flowers, budding trees, and rainfall in the spring to set the stage for a green year, the perfect 80 degree days in the summer on Michigan beaches that aren't too overly hot, but not cold, and of course the scenery that our winter season brings. That makes the holiday season magical from start to finish. Of course, this reason is pure, pure preference. Some people can't stand the cold and want constant warmth. Others can't stand the heat heat and light the changing seasons. Piggybacking up weather, coming in at the next reason why people are moving to Michigan from North Carolina, and that's for allergies and pollen. Of course, in Michigan, with the seasons changing, there's that short-lived body shock from temperature changes, but what I've heard about allergies in North Carolina seem like something worth noting because every realtor and client that I've talked to over there have said that the pollen is ridiculous and people are regulating themselves daily with allergy medicine, but once they left there, 
they threw that stuff in the trash. They said it extended well beyond the spring season and also leaves their car just covered in pollen. If some of you out there are from North Carolina, how bad is the pollen actually there? Comment your experiences below. To piggyback off that piggyback further, we have the next reason and that's natural disasters. In North Carolina, you're facing hurricanes, flooding, tornadoes, and heat waves that could potentially be life-threatening. And that aspect alone has had North Carolina residents set their sights on Michigan. Granted, North Carolina faces roughly one hurricane every four years, it's still a reason people are leaving, especially for the people who are living along the coast. I can understand that being a stressor every single time the news comes out with a potential development that will cause a lot of inland damage. In Michigan, we are completely surrounded by water. There's a lot of coastal opportunities, but we won't have a hurricane. So if you're someone that enjoys that coastal life, Michigan is a place where you won't be thinking, what if, when the next storm comes around. Another reason that people are moving to Michigan from North Carolina is for job opportunities. I'd have to say this is one of the biggest reasons my clients are doing so. The rest of the points help Help justify the move though. Does this mean North Carolina doesn't have job opportunities? Probably. No, I'm just kidding. It just means that this particular individual or family had an opportunity in their particular industry of choice here in Michigan. For those of you that have stuck around this long, what are your thoughts on Michigan versus North Carolina? Drop your thoughts in the comments below. Thank you as always for watching. If you're looking to buy, sell, or invest in the wonderful state of Michigan, don't hesitate to reach out. I'm happy to be your resource. Until next time.